people in Paris. This is an important one because you meet people. It's easy to meet people. You, but you don't really meet your people until probably the end, the end of your year, which yeah. sucks. You meet people by the miraculous thing called Facebook. <laughs> we are so not on it today. You'll have uh, so many au pair groups, first of all. Oh, so many. Au pair yep. Paris, au pair Paris 20, whatever. Au pairs in Paris. Yeah. Nannies in Paris and people just... Young English speakers in Paris. Paris, Paris, au pairs in the 17th Arendismo. Hmm, that one sounds that interesting. Really Tell us about that. Oh, you mean? <laughs> I initially was using Facebook to find friends, find fellow au pairs in Paris. Um... But there are a lot of people on these Facebook groups, so I kind of took it upon myself. There are a lot of people on the group, and I was just really lazy, and mm. I didn't want to leave my errand Bismo anymore, because to get from one yeah. part of Paris at 8 p.m. at night when you get out of work... Or 9. Or 9. And then or to never. trek... Or never. <laughs> then to trek all across to Paris to go meet your friend, you know, I was like, well, why don't I just make some friends that live down the block from me? So, sitting one day in my Champ de Bon, all lonely, I was like, why don't I just make a Facebook page for the people that live in this Cartier? So, I made one called Au Pairs in Paris 20... 13? 13. 13. Well or 14, I think. Yeah, and I was very specific. I was like, people who don't live in the 17th are not coming in the group because they don't want to leave the 17th. They don't want to walk <laughs> 10 extra minutes down the road. Yeah. So luckily, you were in that group. I left around the corner. And we never people? met. Which no. just goes to show you what Paris is like because I was like five minutes around the corner. Yeah, exactly. It goes to show that big cities can be more lonely than small towns. Small towns, yeah. And you have to make Paris your small town by finding your community and you find your community through Facebook. Mm -hmm. You can also use meetups.com to find mm -hmm. a yoga class that you go to every week or like a cafe yes. that you go to every week. And if you consistently go there, then that becomes your little home. But mm -hmm. I think that majority, like for friends and stuff like that, Facebook is the way to go. Yeah. I feel like you're always told that French lessons are the way to go. And then when you actually go to French lessons, you meet maybe like one or two people. And the rest of the people are yeah. there to actually learn French and you can't just sit and chat to them. <laughs> and it's quite hard to meet them because everyone rushes off to like look after their kids. Yeah, and it's also eight o'clock in the morning when oh, I eight French o'clock in the morning. And it's three not, hours long. I'm not myself. Like, go away. Mm -mm. Yeah. But I did meet a good amount of people in my French lessons too. Yeah. But the problem was that they were scattered all across all the, the city. city. Yeah. So, yeah, find your way, but... Do it our way. Do it our way. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll post links below to loads of different Facebook groups that you can use. Use and follow and like. And you don't have to be in Paris to be part of the group, so you can start making friends and talking to people before you even get there. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, if we think of anything else, we'll post it down below. For now, subscribe to our video if you like what we're doing and if you need help with an au pair. Comment and put questions. That's it.